throughout high school, the common question is, what do you want to do in your future? Throughout his time in high school, E4 Petty Officer 3rd Class Donald Gettle wasn't sure what he wanted to do. He decided to enlist in the Navy. It, it all started off with being born in Lebanon, PA on July 20th, 1952 to Adam and June Gettle. Gettle came from a large family of nine brothers and sisters. Some of his brothers served in the military. His older brother Adam served in the army during the Korean and the Vietnam War as a medic. Another brother Jim served in the army during the Korean War and a brother Larry who was in the Navy. He never got sent overseas. Gettle's first school was a little house town school which is currently down the road from his current house in Jackson Township. He only went there for first grade because Jackson Elementary was started. He then went there for second grade where he went until it was time for high school. When it was time for high school, he went to Elko High School. Throughout his time in high school, he worked at a dairy farm in Lebanon, Cleona, where he worked for six to nine months. He also worked at the Richland Shoe Factory and the Avon Shoe Factory. While still in high school in March of 1970, Gettle enlisted into the Navy. He chose to enlist because... Uh, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with my life and I wasn't doing that great in school, so I thought um, my brother was, uh, Larry was in the Navy and he had told me some of the things that they have done. And so I thought it would be pretty good for me to get out and get on my own. So that's, so I just joined the Navy and it turned out to be a pretty good experience. He was then sent off before he was able to graduate. He departed to boot camp in Great Lakes, Illinois, where he ended up earning his GED to become a graduate of high school. Gettle's training included firearm training, combat training, marching, which was his favorite, physical training, water training, such as treading water for 12 hours and swimming. He did have specialized training, which was... I was a, a coxswain. I was trained uh, on... Uh, maneuvering and, and operation of boats. Uh, I had a small one in the beginning, and these were landing crafts that, if you watch the older movies where the boat used to run in and drop the front bow, and then the Marines and stuff it, it would run off or the equipment would be pulled off, that's exactly what I started with. It was a smaller version. And then when I was on the USS, uh, while I was on the USS uh, Tuscaloosa, uh, I got to be the uh, captain, uh, well, not the captain, but the lead uh, foreman on the captain's gate. And that captain's gate was a 32-foot cabin cruiser that the cab, when we were going on maneuvers or if we go to another port or something and we couldn't get into the port, what I did was I drove the captain of the ship to wherever he went. Uh, and I had a crew of three, and they used to always drop. Now, what was unique about that is when we got dropped in the water, the ship was actually moving. We never got, we very seldom got dropped in the water where the ship was just standing still. It was usually always moving. And through my years on being a, on that ship, I we did pretty good, and we had some pretty good times in that cabin crew, on that uh, captain's gate. Gettle's journey started off in the USS Tripoli, which he was only on for a week because he was then sent to the recently constructed USS Tuscaloosa, where he was first on a U-boat. What he found cool about the USS Tuscaloosa was that he hauled a bunch of equipment that would be stored on the boat. Then he went to a captain's gig. After that, he ended up volunteering to go to the AC-1 landing craft in Coronado, California. Then, on his second trip to Vietnam, 
He was on the USS Tomlinson, where he helped run personnel in and out of the Philippines. The Tomlinson was the biggest boat he was ever on. He described it as five football fields long. Gettle said he enjoyed his time in the Navy because he got to see a lot of places and got to meet a lot of good people. He says the one difficult thing was from his country and how they treated him. When he came back home, people were protesting the war. When asked if he would redo his time in the war, he responded with, I believe I would. I enjoyed my time in the Navy. I, I seen and got to see a lot of places and I got to meet a lot of good people. Ghetto says he only had two or three friendships that he kept in touch with after the war ended. Their names are Ron Cicero, Tom Mayer, and Jeff Brady. Cicero and Ghetto still keep in touch. Unfortunately, Mayer has passed, but Ghetto and his wife still send each other Christmas cards. Ghetto and Brady keep in touch occasionally calling each other. They brought their cars home from the USS Tuscaloosa to their houses together. Ghetto says the best way to keep in touch with his friends is to call or send cards to each other. Ghetto said that his service ended when he was in Coronado, California. It ended on April 20th, 1974. He did all the usual things when his service ended, like doing the exit interview, and he got his discharge and walked off the base. As he got back home, he went to work as a mechanic driver for the chemical plant in Meyerstown. He attended a reunion in San Diego. It was because the USS Tuscaloosa got decommissioned. One life lesson Gettle said he learned from his military experience is how to be on his own. It was good for him since he came from a very large family. It also taught him how to handle himself and he learned how to treat people. He was also able to see the world outside of the U.S. and discover how lucky the majority of U.S. citizens are compared to others. In conclusion, we thank Donald Gettle for his service in Vietnam.